Last summer, went through the whole summer healthy. Uh, I had a little foot pain here and there, and it, I didn't really think anything of it, you know. After the last practice we had, I went to get checked, like to just have treatment done, but it showed like just stress fractures, and there was a stress fracture in my fifth metatarsal. So, uh, you know, I called my mom, kind of broke down there, and uh, had surgery that night. So I went like 24 hours without eating anything. I uh, had surgery that night and just went home. And that was, a, that was the first surgery. But when I first came back, I started practicing, uh, started getting reps here and there. And the first day back, I swept baseline and I felt it pop. And my emotions just let go there because I knew right away I'd broken several bones in my body. I've, I had the same feeling when it happened. So when it happened, it just kind of, well, there goes all that work I just put in for the three months, the conditioning, the weightlifting, the shooting, everything just, I have to restart again. And had surgery that a week later after that, just let it heal up. It was one of those things where it, it hurt more because of how much work I put in that, that summer. You know, I never put that much work in to the game of basketball. And then just to have it all just crumble like that at the end. It's just kind of like you put all your work there and then it just, something happens, a little bump in the road. And then you have to restart the whole process over. Just looking at a coach's perspective, you learn so much more sitting on the bench than when you're out there playing. You see things that you want to see when you're playing. When I'm out there now, I have glimpses of back when I was sitting on the bench and I'm just thankful I could be out there and I just, I'm gonna give it my all no matter what. Being cleared, you get so much adrenaline running through you. My balance was back, everything was back. I was just, it's the happiest feeling in the world. You could actually go on the gym, you can actually get a good sweat in quickly, just running, just to feel myself sweat again and just, it's just stress relieving. He's been through a lot of tough times himself, so I think he has a first-hand knowledge of disappointment, frustration, all the things that uh, you know people go through in life. He's kind of gone through them at a very young age and has handled them well. I think some of that is a strong family that he has. His mom and dad are incredible people, and because of that, I think Kyle's uh, kind of fit for the role of being a leader as he stays healthy as a real player, because I think the best basketball is still ahead of him, and as a guy that puts winning as a priority. And there aren't enough of those guys around this day and age. Oh, nice look. Arns. Yes! There it is. Oh, game on, baby, game on! You know, Coach always talks about a player-coach team is better than a coach-coach team. And uh, just having guys that are willing to help others on this team, uh, we have such a great group of guys, and I think that's what will take us to another level. Loose ball, Arns has it, Arns hammers it down! The reason we recruited him is the same reason now he's having success. A very tough-minded, hard-working, very, very loyal, and maybe most important, just tough-as-nails kind of competitor. I don't think starting is the biggest issue to him. It's playing, playing well, and helping his team win. And when you have that, in the back of your mind, all the other things seeming significant. Stay ready and do your job. You hear coaches talk about that all the time. 